All right, guys, so real quick, in this video, I am going over the CAB sequence and the ABC sequence. Really, what does it mean and when do you use it? So the CAB sequence stands for circulation, airway, and breathing. So who gets this treatment right here? Or I guess this sequence of checking the person to see if they're okay or not. So first off, they have to be unconscious. So they have to be unconscious, uh, unresponsive. So unresponsive, a whole bunch of uns, right? And not communicating with you. So if you, if you approach a patient, they are on the floor, on the ground, just laying down right there. You try to get a response, you know, go through your AFPU, um, alert, verbal, painful, unresponsive. If they fall under unresponsive, or maybe even painful, or somewhere in this category, you're gonna do CAB sequence. Now, CAB sequence for circulation, you're gonna take a carotid pulse, all right? So this is the head right here of somebody. Let me see if I could do a decent-ish job. Sorry, I'm, gonna, I'm kind of in a hurry. The carotid pulse, you're gonna check right here, right? For a pulse on the neck. That's your circulation right there. As far as airway and breathing, you're doing a head tilt, chin lift, and that's you checking the airway for any obstruction in the oropharynx, in the airway, inside. And at the same time, you're checking for breathing. So you could uh, put your face next, next to their face to hear or feel for any air coming in and out. Also look down at their chest to see chest rise and fall, okay? So one more time, the CAB sequence is used for pa patients that are unconscious and unresponsive, responsive to only painful stimuli, and or just unresponsive in general. Circulation, airway breathing. Circulation is what you do first. You check the carotid pulse, then head, tilt, chin, lift, airway and breathing. Now the ABC sequence is for any patient that is alert. Any patient that falls in the AV category of your AF pool. They fall in this category, you can actually communicate with them. You know they're actually looking at you, they're talking to you for the most part. So their, their, their airway is obviously open. They're obviously breathing because they're communicating. They're not unconscious. And then you take the circulation. Now for a patient, the circulation, well, a patient that's responsive, you know, an alert and verbal, you can check the pulse in the radio. So right here, on the, thumb, the thumb side, all right? I only have two hands, so it's gonna make it, it's gonna make it hard. Just uh, ask somebody what radio pulse means, all right? Or look at a, at a different video. Well, you know what, let me draw it real quick. My super awesome hand. So the radio pulse goes on the side of the thumb side. So it'll be on this side. You put your fingers right here somewhere, two fingers. You check for a pulse, and that's how you get your circulation for your patients. So one more, a little recap, real quick. The CAB sequence is for your unresponsive patients that fall under painful stimuli or unresponsive on your AFPU scale. You check circulation first, that's why it's CAB. Circulation is first, take the carotid, check airway and breathing by doing a head, tilt, chin, lift, listening for airway, looking for chest rise and fall. And the ABC sequence is for your patients that fall on the alert and or verbal portion of your AFPU. They're obviously gonna be, the airway just kinda, of, you can see that it's open by them talking to you. There's no obstruction. If they're breathing, usually, I only check breathing, or used to when I used to work in the field, I used to only check breathing if it caught my attention. So if it caught my attention, I would check breathing because normally if a patient is okay, you're not gonna notice breathing. Nobody ever noticed you breathing unless there's, there's an issue, you're out of breath or something. And then for circulation, you check the radio pulse. That's it, peace.